Hello everyone, new video alert. Today's video is a guide, especially for those unsure about buying an M2 SSD. I highly recommend watching this video before making a purchase, as it provides valuable insights on what to consider and which product to choose. We generally see NVMe-based M2 SSDs in the market. 99% of those who watch this video will not even look at SATA-based M2 SSDs. SATA M2 SSDs are nearly extinct these days, because of being an outdated technology, they required revision. NVMe Tech was developed post 2010s. With this tech, we can now utilize the PCI data bus for enhanced data transfer. The computer can work with the integrated processor and storage unit. This technology, developed in 2011, can be used in PCIe 2.0, PCIe 3.0, and PCIe 4.0 data paths. With an M2 SSD based on PCIe 3.0, achieve speeds up to 3500 to 4000 MB per S, while on PCIe 4.0 data path, reach speeds up to 8000 MB per S. One of the initial rules when buying an M2 SSD is motherboard support. So how suitable is the combination of our computer for this? If you have a motherboard W slash PCIe 3.0 or a laptop supporting PCIe 3.0, when you purchase an M2 SSD W slash PCIe 4.0 and X4 gen, you will be able to achieve speeds of up to 3500 MB per second. Assuming your purchased SSD uses PCIe 4.0 version with 7000 MB per S read write speed, you can't fully utilize it due to your motherboard's limitations. So you can't use this M2 SSD at full efficiency. First of all, you need to decide based on the SSD you want to buy and your motherboard component at this point. Let me buy an M2 SSD that uses PCIe 4.0 data path so that I can use this hard drive when I upgrade my system. So should I utilize this SSD? Yes, this is a pleasant detail that you can allocate funds to for the future. First of all, I want to talk about our player files. As of December 2023, games have reached almost 100 GB in size. Now we can assume a game a standard 100 GB. In addition to this, of course, if we add our own personal files, videos, photos, and the programs we download, one terabyte is no longer enough nowadays, especially if you have a lot of game archives and love playing games until 2024, I definitely recommend starting with 2 TB storage. I was a user of a 1 TB M2 SSD for many years, but now I have videos loaded on my computer for video editing, and in addition to that, if we assume that the average size of 4 or 5 current games that I download is 80 to 90 GB, considering the updates of these games, the plugins I use, programs, etc. One terabyte is no longer sufficient for me. I have upgraded to two terabytes right here. In this video, I will also provide information on the two terabytes XPG Gamax S70 blade. For data storage, choose M2 SSDs over two terabytes if you store a large amount of data. With PCIe 4.0, I can reach 7,000 to 8,000 megabits per second easily. Particularly, the M2 SSD I utilized was capable of effortlessly providing me with this. Our friends who play games no longer need a high level of reading and writing speed. In games, I think 3000 to 4000 MB read-write data is ideal. If you do a lot of rendering tasks, if you engage in video editing, high read and write speeds will significantly alleviate your workload. Just like in my current system that I am using at the present time. Nowadays, TLC-based NAND memories are widely utilized. Therefore, the M2 SSD I am using here also has three DTLC-based NAND memory. Let's mention that we get the maximum performance on the SLC NAND memory side. But today we see M2 SSDs with TLC NAND memory with higher efficiency, more capacity, and lower cost. It is beneficial for you to choose TLC-based NAND memories. I recommend staying away from QLC. One of the frequently asked and curious points is whether to prefer M2 SSD with DRAM or without DRAM. If you purchase with DRAM, price will be slightly higher than M2 SSDs without DRAM. But M2 SSD with DRAM also has high advantages. DRAM, where temporary data is stored, load not applied to NAND memories, that is NAND chips thanks to DRAM. M2 SSD works more stable and more stable. NAND memories are slower than DRAM and directly affect performance. 
It is advantageous to select a DRAM-equipped M.2 SSD for improved performance and an extended lifespan. When copying a file or transferring data, the data transfer is quite fluctuating in M.2 SSDs without DRAM, while a M.2 SSD with DRAM is almost unaffected. For this reason, I selected XPG's Genmix S70 Blade M.2 Solid State Drive. This M.2 SSD features Samsung's 2GB memories. As a result, I am able to transfer data at extremely high speeds in a stable and reliable manner. Certainly, my M.2 SSD that I use has four 3D TLC flash chip units for storage. So there are TLC NAND memories available. In addition, we also have our SLC cache. For our friends who inquire about the SLC cache, the continuous writing speed of M.2 SSD increases due to the presence of SLC caches. One of the things to consider when purchasing an M.2 SSD is the average lifespan of the storage device without malfunctions. This is commonly known as MTBF. This time period is exactly 2 million hours on our M.2 SSD storage device. At this point, pay close attention to this detail when buying an M.2 SSD. Another important issue is TBV. The lifespan of our M.2 SSD. The total bytes written TBW value of our M.2 SSD is 1480 terabytes. XPG offers a 5-year warranty for this M.2 SSD. The sequential read speed is 7400 MB per second, valid for PCs and laptops. On PS speed, 6300 megabits per second. Our sequential write speed is 6800 megabytes per second on both PlayStation and personal computer sites. This M.2 SSD uses the NVMe 1.4 protocol. Friends, the XPG team has also placed a cooler inside this M.2 SSD. The cooler is entirely in aluminum form. When you add a thermal pad on the M.2 SSD, it reduces temperature by 20%. I hope it has been a good M.2 SSC guide for you. Here, I wanted to share this video with you based on my own experience with M.2 SSC. If you have any questions, please remember to share your thoughts with me in the comments of this video. See you in our next videos. Take care. Goodbye.